Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I am going to give you some study tips because I know exams are coming up very very soon it's very scary but I did a study tips video like a week ago that you guys really seem to like and kind of wanted some more of them so I thought I would do another study tips video I may make this into a series I don't know just yet if you want it into a series please tell me in the comment bar down below but this has just been like a Q&A that I've done on Instagram if you want to participate in the next one um, which you definitely should um, my Instagram is beautybycat08 so should keep watching on that to see when I do my next Q&A so you can be featured in it. So yes, without further ado, let's just get right on with the video. So the questions are on here and I'm just going to read some out randomly. I'd rather kind of go into depth on a few of them rather than try to answer all of them in a really brief and annoyingly short way. So the first one that I have is from xxlayla.xo who asks, how do you study the day before your test? Layla, don't. Don't let it get to that stage. The way to do best in your tests is to plan out and do your revision over a long period of time, whether it's just a week, two weeks or four weeks. That kind of time span will make such a difference. It will mean you're less stressed and it means that you don't have to cram in and not really know a lot about really anything if you do it the day before. So I would say now that you're watching this video in March and exams in May, you should have no excuse um, not to revise early. So I would say plan a lot, get a diary, get an Excel spreadsheet. There's websites online and just try to create a revision plan, which is one of the most important things I think like is fundamental to doing well at revision time and just follow that revision plan up until the exam then you will not have to work the day before your exam you can relax and think how much work that you have done and then Camille Clubro asks me how do you not get distracted whilst studying and this is kind of me I kind of want to ask this question to someone because I get very very distracted um but <laughs> i find some things which are helpful is putting your phone like in another room or on the other side of the room so you can't get to it the worst thing is having your phone right next to you because you're like oh actually i need to check this thing just check twitter youtube instagram and then you're on your phone for like half an hour or 45 minutes so that's definitely not a good plan so i would say move your phone to another room i would try personally to do revision on like a pen and paper so i don't get distracted by websites if i'm online so having my laptop and my computer not turned on and my phone a long way away it kind of helps me not to procrastinate as much but i think another thing that's kind of essential to not procrastinating is having a break because you can't revise for 14 hours a day every single day uh, you will just like procrastinate for most of it so it's so much better to just have like two or three hours of like solid revision per day where you don't procrastinate rather than lots of hours of revision where you do procrastinate and then the Christina Brown asks me do you find it helpful to listen to music while studying what are some of your favorite tunes and yes I do find it really helpful um, to listen to music I know that lots of people don't but I just quite like it. it kind of makes revision a little bit more enjoyable because I don't really listen to music Music outside of doing kind of homework or revision so it makes quite a nice treat um, my favorite thing to do is to go on eight tracks which is eight tracks.com um, there used to be an app in the UK but they discontinued it which made me very sad because I've been using this app for like I would say five six years um, it's my favorite music app ever it basically allows you to listen to playlists based on what kind of style or like mood you're in. So I would put study and then instrumental and then it'll come up with loads of playlists. I'll put trending or the most popular, click on one of those and you're sorted with kind of study music. It sounds kind of weird, but my personal favorite type of music to listen to when I'm revising is like jazz music, but in French. Um, so I can't understand the lyrics. I don't really like having lyrics because you can kind of understand them and it kind of, I don't know, you're trying to read something which is in English, but then you're listening to English lyrics and it's a bit like, 
can't really concentrate doing that, but I don't really like kind of instrumental music. I'd rather kind of acoustic-y, jazzy music. So I thought the best option is to do acoustic jazz music in French. So the kind of playlist I would listen to is one called like sitting in a cafe in Paris. That's kind of music. So the music is just so pretty, but I just can't understand it, which is the best combination. And then Rachel1699 asks me, how long do I revise for? And I kind of answered this with the previous question, but I will just do as much revision as I've set myself um, to do page-wise. So that'll mean sometimes the pages that I've set myself for that day are really simple, meaning that I only have to do like three hours of revision or something in total, rather than having to do like six hours. But I think it also depends on the level that you're at. If you're at GCSE, you probably have to study a bit less than if you're at A-level or at university. And then 486 Hopes asks me, how do you stay focused when you are studying? I love you. I love you too. And um, what I will do is kind of have an end goal in sight, whether it's I only have five more pages to do today or whether it's I need so-and-so grades in order to get into the job that I want to do or go to a really good school that I want to go to or just like feel proud in myself. I'll have that kind of long-term motivational goal as well. And yes, I think that is enough questions for today. I hope this video isn't too long. If it is, I apologize. Um, if you guys would like another video like this, please tell me in the comment bar down below because I love doing Q&A videos so much because it gets you guys involved and you are all so nice asking me questions. So thank you so much for that. And yes, I don't think I have anything else to say. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time guys. Bye. I love you.